And with Blender Artist looking for ways to level up your texturing and materials in one click, then you might want to consider taking a look at Smartify Note. This amazing asset browser enabled shader add-on gives you all of the necessary tools to create engaging and breathtaking materials with one single click. With options to play with these materials however you choose and a couple of utility tools that would allow you to tweak merge, manage, and also modify multiple smart shaders, masks, and default shaders all at once. And some of these materials include moss, snow, dust, sand, leaks, water puddle, edge wears, and so much more, allowing you to use either building blocks or simply using smart mask or smart materials or even the smart shader tools that exist with this to create easily. And to work with this is super easy. All you need to do is to drag from your asset browser into your shader editor, or you can drag from the asset browser directly onto the object within your viewport and get going with it. And for those who like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can grab on the 20% offer that is currently running. Coupon codes and links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So Blender Simply Open, how this works is relatively easy. All you need to do is go over to Edit, go over to Preference and within your Preference section, go over to the File part then click on the plus sign and add the Smartify nodes to your file path. And once you have that ready, click on the bugger menu, click on save preference and close the preference window. And once you do that, if you drag a new panel and you switch over to your asset browser and click on the drop down and go over to the Smartify nodes, you would notice that you have a ton of nodes. Currently, you have six different categories plus a bonus one that you can work with. So if you're trying to get some shaders, some smart effects, some smart materials, which are super cool by the way, and some textures, some customs, which exist in the new Blender file, and also the bonus files, you can find all of this here. And for you to actually get started, let's go ahead and throw in Susan and see how this actually applies to the character. So the first thing which you would notice is if you go over to the node group, you have a ton of node groups which you can explore. And all of this deals with either the all Smartify node, which you can drag into your shader editor and customize your materials from there, or use this to actually start building your materials. Or you can proceed to play with the B, C, D, E, and F options, which are a ton of tools that you can use. And if you're just trying to play with shaders, you can definitely go over to the shader section where you can grab any of the shaders and apply them to the object that you're working on through the shader editor. So for this example, we're just simply going to raise this all the way up, switch these to the shader editor and we can drag and drop this right there so if we simply zoom in drop this right in between and switch over to rendering let's zoom in so you can now start seeing the gold surfacing that we have and this doesn't limit you to just one you can throw in as many of them as you want and you can style these things to your heart content so depending on what you're trying to go in terms of the shaders you do have a ton of shaders that you can throw in and work with now these shaders do not limit you like i mentioned as you can also play with some smart utilities to even push the bounds of certain things that you can get. So for example, let's say you don't want shadows at any point, you can also throw in the shadow eraser right here. So I can just throw this in between and you notice that shadow is gone. If we mute this layer, you can see shadows. If we turn this off, shadows are gone. We can crank this all the way up. Depending on what you want to create, you can start doing some very interesting things with this. When you go over to the mixes, you can also use the mixes to mix certain materials together. You also have the beautiful masking tool, which you can also use to mask certain parts. So for this example, let's say we'll like to mask a certain part of our model. Probably we don't want the entire green to be everywhere. We can go over to the edge section and drag that edge mask out. And we can go right from the edge mask into the mask section, which shows out the flat color and you can see that we can of course go in and change whatever color that we want this kind of reminds me a lot about the materializer tool from the folks at cg Tots. so you can see some very interesting stuff going on there now with a brand new scene here let's explore some more stuff now for those who are thinking about playing with smart shaders you can definitely go ahead and have fun with that but then we would like to take a look at a smart effect so with this model which is courtesy of sketchfab i'm going to put links to this in the description you can now start throwing in those smart effects. Now, in this case, if I like to throw in a grassy effect, I can drag that and drop it within the shader editor. And I can put this in between the principal BSDF and the material output. Now, if we've put that in, you notice that we have some effects happening right here. And this is not only for this one. You can do that for as many of them as possible. So for example, if we like to get the sandy one or maybe the mossy one, we can of course go ahead and do that. So let's go in and rewire all of that. And we can go ahead and combine this if we want. But for this case, let's mix these two together. I'm going to raise this all the way up so we can preview it. 
And for now, you probably wouldn't be seeing anything. But then if we go in and I start dropping the height down to a point like so and potentially increase the altitude, you can now start seeing that we have all of that sandy looking thing on this model. You know, the model begins to look really, really cool. And depending on what you want to do, you can go to town with this. So you can mix them however you want. You can get some very interesting effect. If you like to throw in some noise, if you like to play with the height and get that good effects going on for you, you can of course go in and punch this in. For those who are thinking about using the Vetus color paints to control this, of course you can, as you can actually plug in the Vetus color paints and get this to work. Furthermore, if you're just looking for smart materials that you can work with, probably just want to throw in a smart material and get to work, you can. So you can go through the smart material section where you have different categories that includes architecture, fabric, glass, all the way to metal, wood, and also water. You can select any of these ones and throw it into your scene and get some stuff working for you. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead with the medieval wall, click and drag these particular ones, go to your viewport. So we can click and drag this onto the model itself and then we can start getting some very interesting results. Let's increase the light a bit and then take Take a look at some of the parameters within the shaders and as you can see this looks really really good so at any point in time you would like to make some changes to this of course you can do all of that within the shader currently this shader that deals with the smart materials pretty complex so what i would suggest you do is to take a look at them one after the other so for example if we like to play with how much the height affects the most effect growth we can of course go ahead and do some changes right here and this would update automatically. We can also go all the way down here where we can play with the moss shader. So if you're also thinking about playing with the scaling, the saturation, all of these parameters are available and you can start working with them depending on what you would like to create. And for those who are thinking about exploring some of these other ones, of course you can. So we can select the alien one, click and drag this onto the viewport, and this would automatically replace what we, and this would automatically replace the material that we have. So you can go in and start making some changes. Right here, you would notice that it has this very proper naming, which includes the source height, the location mask, AO mask overall. And for those who like to do the Vetus color painting, you can also do that from here. So from this section, we can actually go in and play with the height. So we'll probably want the altitude to go down all right so we can do that and you can see what we're getting we can of course go ahead and play with this a little bit more and even get some more interesting results depending on what we would like to see so depending on how you want these things to work for you there are tons of options that you can explore Furthermore, if you're thinking about working with some animated piece, of course you can so some of these ones are fully animated so if you see the word alive underneath it means you can press the playback button and get the textures animated. You can, of course, go ahead and explore with the texture sets that exist right here, just in case you like to load up texture sets. And if you're into mixes, so for example, you like to mix a couple of shaders together, mask or anything, of course you can. So with the shader mixer, which we're going to drag down here, you can mix as many shaders as you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this and then connect the principal BSDF, which is the very first shader, or should I say the shader that ships with this model, which you can of course get on Sketchfab. I'm gonna put a link in the description for that as well. You can link that here. Now, if there's any of the shaders that we've just looked at, or maybe there's a potential one which you would like to throw in, of course you can. So you can get either the metal, the moss, any of the shaders. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in this moss because it's very visible and connect that shader right here. So once we connect it, you would see it does very much it acts very much like the mixed shader that exists in Blender by default. The only difference here is this has been refined to a point where if you use the simple mask leaking, which also ships with the Smartify nodes, you can connect that to the mask. And once you connect that to the mask, you can tell what this looks like. And of course you can go ahead and play with the leaks, depending on how much leaks that you want. And you can throw more in, depending on how much you want this to cover up. Now, another way which you can layer up multiple materials or layer up more stuff on the material that you're working on is like we mentioned earlier, if you go over to the smart effect, you can do that. So within the smart effect, you can grab as many of these ones as possible and you can simply throw them in and get some very interesting results for yourself. So if we choose to plug this in, you can already see what we get. And if we plug this in as well, you can now see that. You can use the world location to actually turn some of these things down 
and you can use things like the scale, the height of, and also some of the parameters that exist here to get these things going. So this is it. Smartify nodes is now here. And for anyone that is thinking about one of the fastest and coolest way to add some very high quality details on your model and get the most out of them, you can simply go over to the link in the description right now and grab this for 20% while offer last. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and until I see you guys in the next one, peace.